Hi, my name is Malcolm and I'm a PSLE Science Specialist here at the Pig Lab. Welcome to another episode of PSLE Science Made Simple. In this video, I'll be going through a past year examination question on the topic of animal life cycles. I've also prepared this question for you to download for free by clicking a link in the description box below. So, let's get started. Question 18. The diagram below shows you the stages in the life cycle of a grasshopper and a frog. And now in part A, they want us to name what is stage J. So when we look at stage J, we know it is one of the stages in the life cycle of the grasshopper. And if you look at stage J, it is what the egg hatches into. So what does the egg of the grasshopper hatch into? Is it called the young of the grasshopper? No, there is another word that we use for the young of the grasshopper. What word is that? It is the nymph stage. So for part A, we know that stage J must be the nymph stage. Now what about part B? They want us to state one other animal that has a similar life cycle as the grasshopper. So first of all, when we take a look at the grasshopper, how many stages does it have in its life cycle? We can count there is a total of three stages. So, we must look for an animal that not only has a three-stage life cycle, but you can see that the young of the grasshopper also resembles the adult. Now, can you think of animals that have such a life cycle? One very good example would be the cockroach. Now, what about the chicken? Can I write down the chicken as the answer? Now, let's think. Does the chicken have a three-stage life cycle? Yes. Next, does the young of the chicken also resemble the adult? Also, yes. So, am I able to write down chicken as the answer? The answer here is no. And why not? Because the young of a chicken is called the young. But for this animal to have a similar life cycle as the grasshopper, it must have similar stages. And we know that the young of the grasshopper is called the nymph stage. Additionally, the nymph undergoes molting, while the young of a chicken does not. Therefore, a chicken does not have a life cycle similar to that of a grasshopper. Instead, acceptable answers will be insects with a three-stage life cycle, such as the cockroach. Now, let's look at part C. They said based on the diagrams above, they want us to state one difference between the life cycle of a frog and the grasshopper. Now, whenever we compare between the life cycle of two animals, there are actually four different ways we can compare. So I'm going to write it down at the side. There are four points of comparison. So what's the first way? We can actually compare the number of stages. So let's write this down. Now for the grasshopper, how many stages does it have? It has three stages in its life cycle. What about the frog? The frog also has three stages in its life cycle. So because of that, is this a similarity or a difference? This is going to be a similarity between them. So because of that, can we write the number of stages as our answer? No, because they are looking for the difference between the life cycles. So we cannot write down the number of stages. Let's cross it out. Now what is the second way we can compare? We can also compare whether the young is able to undergo molting. Now, when we take a look at the young of the grasshopper, can the young of the grasshopper undergo molting? Definitely. But can the young of the frog undergo molting? No. So, is this a similarity or a difference? This is actually a difference that's between them. So, can we write down molting as our answer? Now, those of you who wrote down molting as the difference, you have gotten this question wrong. Now, why is that? Remember what we highlighted in the question earlier? We said based on the diagrams above. Now from the diagram, can you tell whether the young of the grasshopper can undergo molting? No, you are actually not able to tell. And since we cannot tell from the diagram, are we able to write down molting as the answer? Definitely not. So molting is out. Now what is the third way we can compare? The third way that we can compare is whether the young resembles the adult. So we call this the resemblance. So let's take a look at the young of the grasshopper. Does the young of the grasshopper resemble the adult? Definitely. 
But does the young of the frog resemble the adult? No. So because of that, is this a similarity or a difference? This is a difference that's between them. And since this is a difference, can we write this down as our answer? Definitely. But there is actually a fourth way that we can compare. We can also compare between their habitats. So let's find out what are the habitats for the grasshopper and the frog. We all know grasshopper lives on land. But for the frog, does it just live on land? No, the frog can live both on land and in water. So is this a similarity or a difference? Same thing, this is a difference between them. But can we write this down as the answer? The answer is no. Based on the diagrams given above, are we able to tell what is the habitat of the grasshopper or the frog? No, we are actually not able to tell. And because we are not able to tell, can we write down habitat as the answer? Definitely not. So, out of these four different ways of comparison, which is the only answer we can write down? We can only write down about resemblance. So, how do we phrase our answer? We should say that the young of the frog does not resemble its adult, while the young of the grasshopper resembles the adult. And that's the answer for part C. Thank you for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you found this video useful, do give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to check out more videos by us, do click on the links on the right hand side. Last but not least, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more interesting videos. Thank you and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!